Welcome back to the Lord of the Rings the Third Age walkthrough on the PlayStation 2. This is the part 25, I think so at least. And we are still in Helm's Deep. We are now going to go and join Aragorn in battle. He is by the gate of Helm's Deep, so we are just going to give the character some health. And now we're going down to join Aragorn in front of the gate. You can see him there fighting. And here we go, you can see that Aragorn is right here with us, and of course the Urukais have to start with poison on Aragorn. So he has a very strong attack, he has three attacks right here, but the Bane of Sauron is the best attack. Just look at this, L just look. Four strikes, and that's a lot of damage. That's very very good, so that is basically his strongest attack. So, of course, that is the attack that I use the most. I just use the Bane of Sauron, basically, and that's all I use with um, Aragorn, and that's because, of course, it's the strongest attack, so that is what I use, of course, as you understand. So, we are now fighting here at the gates of Helm's Deep. It is quite a long battle as you can see with the length of this video. There is one more very short um, video to my, uh, after this battle but um, this one is very very long. So um, yeah you can probably see that. I'm sorry I'm just reading something I have to see it now. Oh that's cool. Yeah whatever. So yeah, um, you can see now, this is another one of those battles where we um, kill one of the enemies and then another enemy will run up and replace the enemy that we just killed. It's one of those battles. We have had those battles throughout Helm's Deep now, so it's no surprise that we have even more of them. So apparently the Eurokais have put a uh, silencing arrow on... Aragorn, but again, that doesn't really matter because uh, he doesn't use spirit attacks. Only uh, Idril uses it, and then Berthor has his um, leadership, and those two are spirits. But no other characters uses spirit attacks, except for Eärendil. Eärendil has a few uh, spirit attacks. They are in the sword craft, but. You have to use spirit. It's kind of like a magic attack, if you understand what I mean. So Eodin has some of those. And apparently both Morven and Idril has uh, an aura of the Valar on. So, um, But we need to put an aura of the Valar on the other characters as well. So we'll just put one on Aragorn. And um, he has it now. And Aragorn is a really cool character to play as. I really like playing as um, an Aragorn in uh, here in Helm's Deep. He's a good character. I really like playing as him. He's quite strong. He has a lot of health. Not as much as health as Gimli has though, because he has a lot of health, like a lot. He has. He doesn't have that much health, but. He still has all. Uh, he still has a lot of health um, compared to our characters. Like um, the character that we have that has the most health is Haddad. He has like three hundred um, thousand five hundred health or something like that, and we don't even have him out. I think we'll put Haddad out. Uh, in not too long, we'll have him out in not too long because he's a strong character. We need to use him more often. It's just that we've used him for most of the walkthroughs. I just thought we'd have um, more of an out. We'll always have Idril and Bertha out though, so yeah, but I just wanted to have more of an out for a bit. We haven't even 
played as Ea Odin yet, but he is a good character as well. I really like playing as him too. But we haven't played as him yet. I think we will do that sometime. Hopefully not in too long we'll play as him. Hopefully not too long, yes. So yeah, for ho hopefully we'll play as Ea Odin soon. That is hopefully, I can't really guarantee anything. Oh, we can just hope because, uh, of course, you guys. I think you guys want to see how Air Odin works and what he does and what he's good at and um, yeah, just how he how he works as a character in um, in battle. So you can probably see that each time I have more than out, I'm using twin wounds on all of the enemies. And that's because um, then I can uh, then the enemies can lose a lot of health over time, and I don't really have to care about them because they're just losing health over time anyway. So, and then they just go faster down. And now they're doing a silencing arrow on Aragon again, even though he already has a silencing arrow on. So, it doesn't really make sense that. Yeah, that's one of those. That's one tip that I have for you guys, make sure that you use the twin wounds with Morven because it is quite good to have on. That's uh, at least what I do each time there is some new enemy coming up. I use the twin wounds then because it's stronger than the poisoned wounds. So you can probably see that there's only two enemies left and that's because we've defeated all of the enemies on uh, the row to the left. I hope you understand what I mean when I say that we have defeated all of the enemies on one particular row. I hope you understand what I mean by that. I think you do though. I hope so at least. So I actually have a lot of homework to do now because um, I have some stuff I need to finish for tomorrow and uh, yeah and also I will find out tomorrow if I have an exam I might uh, have an exam later on in the year as well but tomorrow I will find out if I have like a written exam I ho actually hope I have it I actually I hope I have a written exam because I don't like oral exam oral exams because I just get really like frightened when I have to do like a presentation. So I hope I can have a written exam instead of an orally one. So I'm actually hoping for that, but there's still a lot of things I have to do. I have some stuff that I need to finish tomorrow. Exam, finding out if I have an exam tomorrow, and um, on Monday. Today is the 12th of May, and next Monday I have two presentations that I need to do as well. And I just had like a mathematics test today, and that actually went quite well. So I think my grade in mathematics will be great. Well, okay, fine, I mean. So yeah, there's a lot of things for me to do in school, but that really shouldn't slow down the recording because... Um, I have like a system of when I do it and the best times for me to do it, so I never really, I never really go out of content to upload. So that is a good thing that I have that system of um, when I should upload and uh, record and edit and all of that jazz. System is good, so that means that I always will have content nearly always at least and they just killed Aragon that is a shock but at least we had Aura of the Veiler on him so he's been brought back to life you see that little picture of Aragon there to the top left corner it really looks like Elagost like that picture is so similar to Elagost's picture it's so similar that's actually quite funny I don't know if it's if it's the same picture, but it's very very similar to the picture of Elagost. At least that's what I think. You might not think so, but I certainly do think so. 
And they just killed Morven as well. They're just killing everyone. But she's back to life, back for the revenge. So let's uh, try and kill this Yurikai. Double critical, that's nice. Okay, let's kill the Yurikai with Aragon, with the Bane of Sauron. Like so. And now there's a troll coming, and we have to defeat three uh, three trolls right now. So this is the first troll, and then we have to defeat two trolls after this one. I think it's three, or no, that might be in the last battle. I can't really remember. We'll see. At least we have to defeat a few trolls right now. And that was the first troll, and here's the second troll. So I think there's three trolls in total for us to defeat so yeah that won't be too hard though yeah I don't think so so the next part part 26 the next part will be the final part of Helm's Deep so this is the second last part of Helm's Deep and we'll finish Helm's Deep in the next part it's quite sad though because I really like Helm's Deep it's one of my favorite um, levels so it's quite sad to be done with it, but it's also good to move on to some other things because there's there's a lot of very very interesting things coming up in the game. So it's good that we're moving on, but still a bit sad. But yeah, we'll you'll see where we go after this. Yeah, you'll see. And there we just defeated that troll, and here's the third and last troll. He has a very, very frightening helmet mask thing on. And we're going to try and kill him anyways. These trolls are huge though, they're they're very big. But we don't care, we'll take them down anyways. Let's try the Bane of Sauron on him and try to kill him. And we just killed him, that was actually really, really quick. Really, really quick. Now we're done with that battle, and now we can uh, get our experience, and our things, I mean equipment and items and stuff like that. And a lot of the characters are leveling up, all of the characters are leveling up twice. That is really nice. Adriel leveled up three times. Oh my god. That's amazing. Even the characters that didn't do anything levels up like two times. Um, so yeah, um, we'll move on now, and a lot of exciting equipment. So here we have another battle, um, it's just one troll and two Yurikais though, but those two Yurikais are awful. You'll see that in the next video when we do the final battle here at Homestead. It's really annoying because there's a lot of Yurikais coming, these ones, and they're so annoying because my characters always miss when they're trying to take them out and it's super annoying. But yeah, this battle is the last battle of the video. In the background you can see the statue of, what's his name again? It's the guy that had the Warhammer. So now you can see that there's something called the double attack for Berthorn. Basically what that is, you can attack two times. So now we're attacking with the Excellent Wrath and then we can attack again after that. And this is something that all of the characters can get. Um, when you get far into the game, like I'm now, I'm far into the game, so then I get the double attack. It just comes by itself. It's not something that you have to upgrade and get it that way. Uh, it's just com something that comes naturally by itself, so you just have to wait until you get it. But I now have it for Berthor. None of the other characters uh, has the double attack yet. Only Berthor, uh, but that's fine, they'll get it soon, I think. 
well, what was what was I think? There was that statue of the dwarf in the background, the one that had the warhammer that had it got. Uh, what's his name again? I can't really remember his name. But yeah, his statue is in the background right now, and we just defeat the troll, so we only have two more Yorkais to defeat. So this video wasn't really too long, but it just has to be this uh, length on this video. Uh, and I really hope you guys enjoyed this video, part 25. Come back for the next part, part 26, when we will do the final battle of Helm's Deep. We will see a lot of cutscenes, a lot with the story in the next video, and then we will finish off Helm's Deep and move on to some new things. So yeah, come back for the next part and we'll do all of that. See you then.